Wayne, before before we let you go, I've got to ask you, you've uniquely more than any other person that I know managed to walk on a line that has brought you the respect of both sides of the spiritual gifts debate. How have you managed to do that? <laughs> well, um, I think through God's graciousness, um, part of the Part of the background that God brought me through, which I didn't understand at the time, included life in both of those cessationist and continuationist camps. I grew up in a Baptist church, Bible-believing Baptist church in Wisconsin in the United States, and uh, had never heard of speaking in tongues or prophecy, or any of these things. Um, I was in a charismatic prayer group while I was in university as an undergraduate, um, and experience and, and worked for a, a leader in the charismatic movement one summer as a pastoral intern. His name was Harold Bredesen. And uh, I worked at his church as a pastoral assistant for a summer. And so I saw people being prayed for and uh, the Lord doing miracles of healing and speaking in tongues plus interpretation and casting out demons. So I had experienced those things. Then I went to Westminster Seminary in Philadelphia, which was a bastion of a cessationist viewpoint on spiritual gifts. And I had to learn in the classes what the arguments were for that position. And then I uh, wrote some papers for uh, John Frame, my theology professor there, and ended up going to Cambridge and doing a PhD on the gift of prophecy in the New Testament, and why I could continue today and didn't challenge the authority of scripture. And even the reformed people who don't agree with me on the nature of prophecy I think we'll admit that it's given a uh, a position that is, uh, if, if they don't agree with it, it's still a respected option in the uh, theological world to think that prophecy is reporting something that God brings to mind without having the authority of scripture. But um, people who believe in God's providence believe that he directs all of our thoughts. So, uh, why should it be a surprise that he could bring thoughts to mind that would be helpful in the situations in which we, which we find ourselves from week to week? I've, I've been inside both movements yeah. for, for some time. 